श्रीमद भगवद गीता चैप्टर 15 द लॉर्ड ऑल माइटी सेड द पर्सन हु कैन अंडरस्टैंड द मेटाफर ऑफ कंसिडरिंग द यूनिवर्स एज ए होली बनियन ट्री विद सुप्रीम सोल एज इट्स रूट ब्रह्मांड रूप एज इट्स मेन ब्रांचेस एंड विद द वेदास scriptures as it leaves and also realizes that this tree is indestructible such a person in fact understands the meaning of vedas the triguna three attributes act as water for this tree and the branches are spread in all directions and its roots are also manifested in the entire universe the roots these roots are in fact affected by the virtuous emotions among human beings that arise out of interaction of triguna the world in the form of a holy tree is difficult even to imagine by human mind because the form of this tree neither has a beginning nor an end neither does the form itself remain fixed on the same so one must remain unattached by relinquishing the worldly desires pride and affection therefore one must try to research wholeheartedly for the lord almighty who embraces all those who earnestly desire to reach him these seekers once merged they do not come back one should have firm faith in him the almighty and consider him to have taken refuge in him and should remember him again and again that is the only path to salvation the person who does not hanker after false dignity he who does acquire the divine knowledge to shed off ignorance he who is no longer attached with his any material body he who has killed all his desires such a knowledgeable person alone achieves the supreme almighty the prime abode from where no one returns to this world is self illuminated no sun no moon or fire can illuminate the prime abode the soul in the main body is in fact a minute part of me and the same soul is wooed by the mind and the five senses which are part of this nature just as air adopts the smell of a place likewise the soul of a person at a time of leaving the body carries with it the impressions of his mind and his senses in the new birth the soul in the human body with the use of mind tongues skin and other senses perceives the worldly pleasures and pains also only the knowledgeable and the wise perceive that there is a soul in the body embodying all the three only the knowledgeable and the wise perceive that there is a soul in the body embodying all the three gunas through which one experiences pleasure and pain the ignorant cannot have such experience yogis who have made deliberate efforts to are able to perceive the essence of the soul but others who have not purified their minds are not in a position to perceive even after great efforts the glory present in the sun 
which enlightens the entire world and the one present in the moon is in fact nothing but my glory. I, through my divine powers, come to this earth and engulf all living beings. I, through my abilities to produce all vegetations and medicines, do that. I am fire responsible for digestion of foods in all living beings. I am also the digestive force of the four kinds of foods which are swallowed, chewed, licked and sucked. I am present in the minds of living beings since I am omnipresent. I am responsible for their memory, divine wisdom and the discretion that dispels all doubts. And with the help of the divine Vedas, I am worthy of being known. In fact, I am the doer in the spiritual sense and hold the entire knowledge of the Vedas. In this world, there are two parts of human creation. The bodies of all living beings are mortal and destructible. And the soul of any, any living creature is immortal and beyond destruction. But beyond these two, you must understand that there is the greatest power, the Lord Almighty Himself. He is permanent and he is responsible for the manifestation of life in all living beings. Because I am beyond the mortal body and also beyond the immortal soul, therefore I am known as the prime soul or Prushotmam in the holy scriptures, the Vedas. Bharat, the wise and the knowledge labor person who realizes Bharat Arjun, the wise and the knowledgeable person who realizes in a sense that I am the Prime Lord Prushotmam always remembers me as such throughout his life. Arjun, I have given you in this manner the most confidential knowledge. After acquiring the knowledge, the wise becomes emancipated or attains salvation. This is my firm belief.